Hi guys, today I'll be showing you my opinion of the next 30 best Mac apps for 2016 part 2. So these things are arranged in alphabetical order, free and paid. So the first application that we have here is Alfred. So think of Alfred as a enhanced version of Spotlight Search, in which you could do a lot of things such as searching the web and stuff. Especially when you purchase Alfred's Power Pack version, which allows you to do terminal commands and control your music. So here is a sample of Alfred for the Mac. For instance, we are typing here pizza food. And there we go, that is Alfred for Mac. The next application that we have here is Better Touch Tool. So with Better Touch Tool, you could create custom gestures for your Mac. So you could do a lot of things. For instance, I'm gonna call here App Switcher. I am just doing this by doing a custom gesture on my trackpad. So this works for your mouse and your trackpad. You could also make your own custom gestures by going here at Preferences and choosing your gesture and choosing the action that you want. So that is Better Touch Tool for the Mac. The next application that we have here is Command Center. So think of Command Center as having Control Center for your Mac. So here is Command Center on the Mac. As you can see, I can manage here and control these settings over here such as Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, Display, Do Not Disturb, and whatever this thing is. I can also adjust the brightness for, of my Mac and even control the music playing right now. Also, you could adjust the volumes and do some controls over here, such as power, restart, sleep, and other options. Also, I have an option right here to monitor my Mac, such as my CPU usage, my RAM usage, and other usage. That is command center for your Mac. The next application that we have here is Copy Clip. So with Copy Clip, you could copy multiple things for your Mac. This is very useful when you want to copy multiple things and share them separately. So here is a sample of copy clip. So here I'm just going to select from the clips available such as this one. And I'm going to paste that word. And now I'm going to select another clip and paste it. And another one and paste it again. And I'm going to save this clip by only copying it. And there you go, it is now saved. So this is Copy Clip for the Mac. The next application that we have here is Dashlane. So with Dashlane, this is a password manager and a secure digital wallet. So with this thing, you can securely store all of your passwords, accounts, and even some of your bank accounts. So here is how it looks like, as you can see right here. And here is a sample of Dashlane inside the Mac. So here you could manage all of your passwords, your security dashboards, your secured notes, and even some other details that you are seeing right now. So here is a sample of adding an account with Dashlane. You could just enter here the name, the link, and the other details that it needs. Also with this application, you could quickly change all of your passwords in one simple click. And that is Dashlane for the Mac. The next application that we have here is Dr. Cleaner. So with Dr. Cleaner, you could optimize your Mac's memory. You could clean junk files. You could also deep clean your whole entire Mac. And also, uninstall some applications. So here is a sample of it on the Mac. Here, I could optimize the memory. I could also clean some junk files. And if I want to, I could deep clean my Mac. So here we have the overview and I could just completely scan here for the junk files and clean them if I want to. I could also search here for some big files. Also we have here some advanced options that we could do to clean the Mac. The next application that we have is Dropbox. So with Dropbox you could store all of your files similar to OneDrive and Google Drive and you can sync them across all of your devices. So here's a sample of Dropbox on the Mac. So you can see we have this menu over here. And also that Dropbox only offers you 2 gigabytes of free storage. So that is Dropbox for the Mac. 
The next application that we have here is Fantastical. So with Fantastical, think of it as having your reminders and calendar into one application. Also with Fantastical, you have this beautiful design as you can see right here. You could choose from having a light theme or a dark theme. Also, Fantastical has support for natural language, so you could create reminders and events easily. So here's a sample of Fantastical 2 on the Mac. So here I have Fantastical. I could just quickly access here my views for the day, for the week, for the month, and even for the year. I could also access here my calendars and even glance using this thing over here. You also have this menu bar widget that you could use to create events and take a look on what you have for the day. So for instance, I'm going to type here dinner with Kate at 9 p.m. tomorrow. And there you go. That is the support for natural language with Fantastical 2. The next application that we have here is Photo Photo Editor. So with this thing, you could edit all of your photos. And here is a sample of it on the Mac. So with this thing, you could quickly edit your photos by adding some filters, you could do collage, and you could also do some batch editing. So for instance, we are going to edit an image. And we have this menu over here at the right side on what we could do to quickly edit the photo to make it look better. So that is Photo Photo Editor for the Mac. So the next application that we have here is Free Chat for Facebook Messenger. So with this thing, you get a Facebook Messenger for the Mac absolutely for free. You don't have ads, you don't have banners. It's absolutely free to have on your Mac. So here is a sample of Free Chat Messenger for the Mac. The next application that we have here is GIF Keyboard. So with GIF Keyboard, you could easily express yourself by using GIFs. So here is a sample of GIF keyboard on the Mac. So I'm just going to go here and select from the categories available. For instance, I'm going to check here. Uh, thank you. And I'm going to send this GIF over here by just dragging this GIF to the place where I want to use it. And there you go. That is GIF keyboard for the Mac. The next application that we have here is GIMP. So think of GIMP as a free version of Adobe Photoshop, except that Adobe Photoshop can do more. But with GIMP, you could easily do some high quality photo manipulations. You could create original artworks and also you could have graphic design elements with GIMP. So that is GIMP. You could have this for free if you don't want to pay the money for Photoshop. The next application that we have here is Hocus Focus. So with Hocus Focus, this automatically hides all of your inactive windows so you could quickly focus on what you really need to do. So here's a sample of Hocus Focus. And as you can see right here, it automatically hides the application that is completely inactive. Such as what happened with Notes right now. So that is Hocus Focus. The next application that we have here is HyperDoc. So with HyperDoc, you can get long-awaited doc features for the Mac. So with this thing, you could get window previews, you could get controls for iTunes or any multimedia player that you have. You could also have calendar peaks and also quickly rearrange windows. So here's a sample of HyperDoc rearranging the windows. So I could put this here on the bottom right and I could just put this one on the upper right and there you go I could work with three windows and also here is a sample of quick preview with hyperdoc so I'm gonna go to notes and here's a preview of notes I could go to Evernote and mail and even control Spotify with hyperdoc so that is HyperDoc for Mac. The next application that we have here is Image Optim. So with Image Optim, you could make your images load faster without even losing the quality of it. So with Image Optim, you could reduce the size and make them load faster, as you can see right here. 
So here is a sample of image optim on the Mac. So you could drag files over here or even just select your image file. So I'm going to select this image over here and you can see the number of percentage that I could have by converting that image. So that is image optim for the Mac. The next application that we have here is Laplock. So with Laplock, you could leave your MacBook very free, whether when you're outside, in the cafe, or wherever you are. So this works by using your charger as the lock. And you can just go ahead and enable Laplock. And when someone tries to take away your MacBook, your MacBook will create an alarm and also it would send a notification to your iPhone. So that is Laplock. The next application that we have here is Mac ID. So with Mac ID, you could unlock your Mac using your fingerprint, your iOS devices, and even your Apple Watch. So here's a sample of Mac ID on the Mac. So you could also work with older devices. And also a, an exclusive feature of Mac ID is Tap to Unlock which allows you to have custom gestures on your trackpad in order for you to unlock your Mac. Such as this one. So that is Mac ID for the Mac. The next application that we have here from the creators of Battery Monitor is Memory Monitor. So with Memory Monitor, you could easily optimize your Mac's memory. So here is a sample of memory monitor on the Mac. So you can just click here optimize. And it will start to optimize your Mac's memory. And there you go. That is memory monitor. The next application that we have here is Nearlock. So Nearlock is similar to Mac ID which allows you to unlock your Mac using your fingerprint, your iOS device, and even your Apple Watch. One of the difference between Mac ID and Nearlock is that Mac ID has an exclusive feature which is tap to unlock and also works with background support. However, with Nearlock you need to pay for additional fees to have background support. So that is Nearlock for the Mac. The next application that we have here is Parallels Desktop. So with Parallels Desktop, you could run Windows or any other operating system on your Mac without having to reboot. So this works similar to VMware and VirtualBox. You need to have virtualization for your Mac. So that is Parallels Desktop. The next application that we have here is PixelR. So with PixelR, you can easily transform your everyday images into stunning works of art. As you can see right here, here are some samples edited by PixelR. So here we have this, and this, and this, and this. And as you can see, you could edit a lot of good pictures with PixelR. So here is a sample of PixelR on the Mac. So here we could just load an image, and open that image. And we could just have here the tools available on the left side for us to quickly edit those photos. So that is PixelR for the Mac. So the next application that we have here is Pocket. So with Pocket, you can easily save all of your ideas such as articles, videos, and other stuff on Pocket. So Pocket is accessible by all of your devices such as your iPhone, your iPad, or whatever device that you have. So here is a sample of Pocket on the Mac and as you can see right here you could just access the articles and read them offline so this is pocket for the Mac the next application that we have here is pop clip so with pop clip you can get that feature that you usually use on your iOS device whenever you're selecting something so here is a sample of pop clip on the Mac so here I'm gonna copy this thing and I'm going to paste it over here and I'm going to cut this and there you go and paste it over here so with this thing you could work faster with your Mac so that is pop clip for the Mac the next application that we have here is self-control so think of self-control as an application that helps you in avoiding distracting websites so here is a sample of self-control on the Mac. 
So this is the application. So over here, you could just hear your blacklist. This is the websites that you are not allowed to access during the time allotted with self-control. And over here, you can adjust the time on how long or how short do you want the self-control app to last. So when you want to start, you just need to enter your password and self-control will start. So for instance, we're gonna try and access Pinterest now and there we go. We cannot connect to Pinterest. No matter how hard you try, even if you close the application or close it through Activity Monitor, it will not work. The only way for you to access those websites again is to wait for the app. The next application that we have here is ShareIt. So with ShareIt, you could connect and transfer to almost all platforms. So with ShareIt, you could transfer from your iOS device to your Mac, to Android, to Windows, and even to Windows Phone. So here's a sample of ShareIt on the Mac. The next application that we have here is Sketch. So think of Sketch as a simple version of Apple's Preview. So Sketch works with Evernote and here is a sample of Sketch on the Mac. So we're just gonna make a screenshot and here we go. We're just gonna add some notes. It's just an arrow here and a note here, Sketch for Evernote. And let us just box this thing and there we go that is sketch for the Mac the next application that we have here is spectacle so with spectacle you could move and resize windows with ease by using some commands or just accessing the spectacle menu at the menu bar so here's a sample of spectacle on the Mac it's just putting this thing in the center or having it in full screen Putting it on the left side and even at the right side. You could also work with commands. Let us try moving this thing to the top and at the bottom. So that is spectacle for the Mac. The next application that we have here is Text Wrangler. So Text Wrangler is more on the developer side. So with Text Wrangler, you could easily edit text files such as some codes or any other text files that you know. So here is a sample of Text Wrangler on the Mac. And there you go. That is Text Wrangler for the Mac. So the next application that we have here is Tunnel Bear. So with Tunnel Bear, you can search the web privately as if you're in one in many countries available. So that is Tunnel Bear for the Mac. The next application that we have here is Wake Up Time. So with Wake Up Time, you have this clock application for your Mac if you want one. So with Wake Up Time, you could have this simple clock over here. As you can see, it looks good and it is simple. And you could also set some alarms over here. And you could adjust the sound if you want to. And that is Wake Up Time for the Mac. So the next application that we have here is Xcode. So with Xcode, you could create and edit some text code that you have. So Xcode is really popular in terms of making applications and some other stuff for Mac. So here's a sample of Xcode on the Mac. The next application that we have here is Yoink. So with Yoink, you could simplify drag and drop for your Mac. So this is very useful when you are working with multiple windows. For instance, I'm going to transfer all of these files over here at my desktop. I'm just going to drag it to Yoink. And I'm going to select another file, well, files. And now I'm going to drag them to their respective folders. And there you go. That is Yoink for the Mac. So that is it, guys. That is my opinion of the next 30 best Mac apps for 2016 part 2. So we have now 60 applications. So if you want to watch these videos that are now appearing on the screen, click on them if you are on your desktop and if not, use the cards button if you are on your mobile. So as always guys, thank you for watching and please subscribe for more.